50 links. Join my channel here. Become a member over at Subscribestar and the various other links. I got a mailbox. People uh, send comics. Somebody said they want to send me a comic review. If you do, don't, don't, then don't just send the comic anonymously. Include a little note. Say, hey, I want you to talk about this comic. And, that, and, I, and I will do so. So, uh, J. Edgar Hoover, uh, sodomizing the Green Lantern. Uh, NSFW. That means it's not safe for work. It's really not safe for humanity because all this is just so disgusting. It's like every day it just gets worse and worse. And, uh, you guys are the great Satan. Some of us are the great Satan. We're not the great Satan. But yes, there's a there's a great Satanic influence if you want to go down the religious route. Um, okay, so today, when, uh, yes, it's NSFW. It means it's, you don't want to listen to it with people, other people in the room. Because it's, it's like watching those feminine hygiene commercials come on TV and you're, you're with a group of people and you're just dying inside. And you're like, oh, oh. Looking around at the girls next to you. You're like, oh, oh okay. I really... Really, can I get up and walk out? Like all the guys just kind of slowly find find their way to the door. Like we don't want to hear about not feeling so fresh today. We prefer to imagine women as just like delicate, dainty flowers who are just perfect in every way. Okay, so today in Sodomy Comics, where everyone is BLT and just dripping with um, braveness, and uh, it, which unfortunately looks a whole lot. Let's get this in here. Looks a whole lot like KY jelly. Oh, the bigots, so the bigots are anyone who, I guess, disagrees with you in any way. If, if you don't use a pronoun, perhaps you're you're a bigot. So he says, the bigots can try to take whatever they want, but they won't take my back hole. But they will always be those willing to stand up to injustice. We're more than costume, mystery men, we're symbols. My buddy calls them um, bundles of sticks in spandex. He's actually a, a really good artist. The bravest thing you can do is to live without fear, but don't live without lube. Ah. Uh, so anyone who's opposed to them, this is the was it the false dichotomy, the false binary or something, where they present you with with two just BS options. Where if you don't approve of their uh, oh big floppa, you're gonna have to turn down. If you don't approve of their lifestyle over on Odyssey, you guys really funny. Um, then you're a, a bigot and an istophobe. It's like no, that's that's just a logical fallacy. Anyway, um, so uh, we're at, today in sodomy comics. Where I mean, this sounds like a parody. The whole thing sounds like a parody. In fact, people in the comments are like. You're pulling our leg? This is, this is a joke, right? It's like, no, this is, this is, unfortunately, it's bizarrely real. Um, so everyone is, uh, everyone is, uh, kung fu fighting. They're no, they're, 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 they're knee pad out competing each other. So they're simultaneously stunning and brave for anal sex and blowjobs. I'm not sure how a, a BJ or anal is such a brave, stand, encouraged Dan Rather style. Sex is just something people do all the time. It's kind of second nature. It doesn't, I mean, it's not really, it's like preparing dinner or something for a lot of people. Okay, so, I mean, some people put a little bit extra spice on it for sure. But, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff's like like, uh, like pizza. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like once you kind of master the basic art form and, and you reach the conclusion you need to reach, anything else above that, it's like, is it really, is it really necessary to do this kind of tantric, whatever type of stuff that people were into? I don't know. Um, anyway, so, uh, fine. In the settings of, uh, uh, Hoover's FBI era, fair enough. People were a little bit more sub Rosa when they wanted to be two gay cowboys eating pudding and go to back hole town. But call me crazy. I think people are kind of tired of hearing about it. The gay stuff has been rammed down our throat for years. Let's just say our stomachs are full of these hot loads of cringe. Who is buying this stuff? Green Lantern is talking to the evil Hoover, and Hoover shows him videos or photographs of Green Lantern bent over and having some dude go to pound town on his butthole. And then Hoover tells him to come to some party and bring his knee pads and lube because Hoover and his FBI buddies want to gangbang him because he's, he's so adorable. Which uh, actually is pretty accurate for the FBI. They love the back hole action. But the weird thing is, this is a comic book. It sounds like a joke. Like the song about having sex with crying strippers and then jerking off to the images on the back of milk cartons. It's a ridiculous song about the worst combination of things that could possibly happen. The song works because it's self-aware. The singer is just coming up with the worst things in every line. There's a bit of blasphemy in there about Jesus Christ and Santa having relations. The singer knows he's going to hell. That's the point of the song. And he's just kind of hell maximizing his, his, his journey to uh, visit Lucifer. However, Green Lantern is a comic book, except now it's a comic book about characters getting their back holes stuffed 
and blowing other superheroes. I don't remember sodomy comics when I was a kid. Because, I mean, that would have been child abuse, right? It, it would have been, yes, that, I guess, you know, if it would have been child abuse back in the 80s, it was, sounds like child abuse now. But uh, sodomy is cool now because Rainbow Flag or something, and Bank of America supports it. And if you speak out against them, then you'll suddenly find yourself debanked and unable to rent, uh, <clears throat> rent cars or Airbnbs or use a credit card. MasterCard will, will cancel you or you'll get put on a no-fly list if you... You know, eventually, it's or in California, they'll take your kids away if you don't, uh, if they want to trans themselves, uh, if they want to sterilize themselves, and you don't support that. In California, they, they want to take your kids away. Uh, what is it? Uh, who's that guy? Oh, shit. Sam Hyde? He's talking about uh, a long time ago, something about uh, state enforced homosexuality. It's like, oh, hey, hey, hey Scott Weiner in San Francisco uh, State Senate. It's all actually happening. It is. It is all actually. Form local hiking clubs. Form local hiking clubs. I'm forming one. Oh, it's over on Subscribe Star if you're in Northern California. We're going to hike and garden, and we're going to do some nighttime photography about um, spider webs and what whatnot. Anyway, so they have to teach sodomy to kids. It's malicious how they convert them. Anyway, this sounds like a parody, like I'm just crazy talking about superheroes taking hot loads to the face. Salty ones. And Hoover jerking off in the background and crying. Except that it's just modern DC and Marvel. It's all butt sex all the time. And kids. They're uh, starting to throw kids into the mix here. Now, you know. Um, vote your way out of this. We're going to vote so much harder next time. Did you vote your way into this? If you didn't, then you're not going to vote your way out of this. Good luck with that. Um, yeah, they're right. America is the great Satan. Or at least the media, Hollywood, and the comics very much... Very much. Do you have a uh, smell of sulfur to them? Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, why would we want to support a video like this? I don't know. Honestly, it's just, it's just the worst combination of everything. Just it, it, it sounds. I mean, it sounds like a. It sounds like a. Ma it, it would sound like like a mad magazine parody in the '80s of a comic book if they could do something dirty. To see Jagger Hoover and Green Lantern. You're gonna sodomize each other, and and he's actually secretly gay and lusting, right? and like him and his old. F it, it sounds just like, like I'm just I'm just you know, stoned and coming up with kind of free associate. Hey, let's do let's do a comic book about this parody comic book about just nonsense. Like no, this is <laughs> real comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. I know, I know. It's just fucking crazy. <laughs> Like, welcome to Clown Town. Population, well, it's growing. It's growing pretty effing rapidly. Anyway, uh, join us over at Subscribe Star or in the Telegram if you're, you're very, very brave. And I will see you guys all next episode.